and that played a very important role. There were other factors as well, but Indian role was very important. So because of that, Pakistani forces, Pakistan had to deploy a huge force in on the Afghan border, especially in Fata. So let me tell you that Fata is just a 27,000 square kilometer area. It's a very small area. But today, Pakistan have deployed around 200,000 troops in that region just to protect this border from militancy and fence this border and uh, from any you know cross-border attacks or smugglers. So Pakistan is now focusing more on Afghan border than the, on the Indian border. So this was a two-front dilemma which Pakistan faced after 9-11, especially after 9-11. And because of that, Pakistani forces were um, you know, diverted from eastern border to western border. And now Pakistan is facing, um, for example, Pakistan was facing a two-front dilemma. So Pakistani forces had to fight on two fronts. So in that scenario, it was uh, very, very difficult for Pakistan to fight a conventional war with India uh, in that scenario because then Pakistan had to move forces from western border to eastern border then. So they had to bring uh, forces from the Afghan border to Indian border. So Pakistan basically wanted to avoid a war with India and Pakistan gave this reason as well, logic this reason, that we develop tactical nuclear weapons just to deter India from attacking us in a uh, limited fashion. So just to, because our forces were uh, divided on both fronts. So that's why Pakistan developed tactical nuclear weapons just to protect herself from any limited attack against Pakistan. So these were the five reasons. Indian military modernization, force or doctrine. Uh, second reason was conventional disparity. Third reason was the Indian acquisition of BMD. Fourth reason was Indo-US nuclear deal. And fifth reason was two-front dilemma which Pakistan faced after the Indian presence in Afghanistan. Okay, after that, um, now uh, let's understand Pakistan's tactical nuclear capability. Um, it is a uh, uh, Hataf-9 missile which Pakistan developed in 2011. And it had a range of about 70, 60 to 70 kilometers. It had a blast range, uh, estimated blast range of about 0 to 5, 0 0.5 to 5 kilotons. And uh, it is a very, very accurate uh, missile system. It had shoot and scoot attributes as well. And it has the ability to fire at a target and immediately relocate to another position to avoid enemy counterfire. So truck pe rakke isko humne use karte hain, ek fire karke you can move this from one position to another. Taka dushman isko detect na kar sake, isko hit na kar sake. So this is also very important capability. The quick response system addresses the need to deter evolving threats like cold start doctrine and proactive military operations. Yani ke India believe karta hai ke we are going to carry out multiple attacks under cold start doctrine. So Pakistan can utilize this capability to deter India kyunki ek jaga se dusri jaga so this is uh, Pakistan's Al-Nasr capability, uh, nuclear tactical, nuclear missile, just to prevent India from any aggressive attack against Pakistan. Achha, normally, uh, Pakistan's nuclear weapons, hai, inka jo control hai, that is asserted. Uh, but past experience say that you have to delegate to the local commanders, NATO, Warsaw Pact countries, they basically delegated their nuclear command uh, for tactical nuclear weapons to the commanders on the battlefield. But Pakistan ka jo control hai, that is basically assertive, centrally controlled, officially. So, usko aapka jo NCA hai, nuclear command authority, that controls uh, Pakistan's nuclear weapons. Well, so, what are the objectives? Objectives are simple. That Pakistan don't want a war with India whether it is a limited war or in a major war. Pakistan don't want to fight a war. So the idea is to just to deter India's cold star doctrine or proactive military operations from attacking Pakistan. Pakistan will never tolerate any misadventure under cold star doctrine. Pakistan is capable enough to give a befitting reply to any aggressive approach. Pakistan developed these capabilities just to deter India and Pakistan believe that it is a full spectrum deterrence capability to deter all forms of aggression from India or Indian side. So at the end, Pakistan also believe that we will maintain credible minimum deterrence. So guys, this is all from today. And uh, the idea of tactical nuclear weapon is just to deter cold star doctrine, proactive military operations, but many other things are now evolving like new land warfare doctrine. So we will inshallah cover in the next lecture, 
about the new land warfare doctrine of India, into, or, which came in 2018, and how it is going to impact on the nuclear deterrence in South Asia. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.